but we stay together. We did very well in the second part of the season and we enjoyed this title all together. Welcome back to our channel. Today the topic that will be discussed is about N'Golo Conte and his lifestyle. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel to never miss any update. So without any further delay, let's get started quickly. The star player, N'Golo Conte, was born on March 29, 1991, to parents known as late Mr. and Mrs. Conte, whom he has loved the most. Talking about his early life, Conte's parents were migrants who migrated to France from Mali in 1980. The only motive of them was to seek greener pasture in Europe. However, due to their flexible energy, the Conte family succeeded in doing the most difficult work that came their way. Indeed, the Conte family was so hardworking, whatever they did, they completed it with perfection. Mr. and Mrs. Conte's first child is N'Golo Conte, who grew up in a small flat in Royal Malmaison. The area Conte spent his childhood in is considered a poor and densely populated suburban area. Adding on, Conte is the first child of four brothers and sisters. The place where the Conte family resided was small in size and popularly known for people doing menial jobs for the big city. Talking about Conte's childhood, he was never a child as he worked as a trash picker during his childhood. Besides getting along with friends and playing around, the boy chose to meet his family needs by earning some amount by doing jobs. As a trash picker and grabber, the young boy would walk with an empty stomach for kilometers around the suburbs of eastern Paris. The only motive that leads him to walk for kilometers is in search of all sorts of valuable waste to collect and transfer to base recycling firms for quick cash. His life already taught him about many aspects of life. Even when he shuffled through poverty and all downs in his life, Conte continued to be a lad with a disturbed personal life until stardom. Conte was a young boy but old in maturity, that he knew his job would continuously make his family circle in poverty and decided to bring them out of this and provide them with whatever they deserve. His family's happiness was everything for him. No doubts, Conte had the final dream, a dream for any prestigious role or engagement that would pave the way for a poverty-free life for his family. N'Golo Conte's early life. As already mentioned, he is the first child of four brothers and sisters. Unfortunately, Conte's dad died when he was just 11 years old. From a very early age, the 11-year-old boy sensed the responsibility on him. However, he already understood the value of working hard because that's the only way he can accomplish something in his life and make his life easy. Being an older child of the family, he managed to take care of his entire family after his father's death. Making his younger sisters in the football youth system at Ceresnes, western suburbs of Paris, he even provided monetary support to his brother. What inspired Conte to join football? <laughs> to be precise, the France 98 World Cup win is what inspired Conte's interest in football. After the France 98 World Cup, the country was changing in terms of promoting its star players. As a result, Conte saw France as an opportunity for his growth. He noticed a nation whose soccer fame grew essentially from migrants. Hence, Conte familiarized himself with seeing and hearing big names of the FIFA 1998 World Cup. The likes of Thierry Henry, Zinedine Zidane, Patrick Vieira, Lillian Thuram, and Nicolas Anelka were known to be household names to migrants who grazed the tournament. It motivated him a lot then. Hence, the 1998 World Cup victory brought about a turning point in terms of migrants' participation in French football, as well as offered them to nurture and nourish their future in the field. The World Cup Hustle As soon as Conte developed an interest in football, he made himself stick to it and continue his job as a trash picker and earn some more money. He covered every ground used by the tournament in Paris. His parents eventually saw their son progress so much and later assisted him financially to start his plans. Conte never watched a football match, but aimed to take football as a career having noticed lots of youth clubs popping up close to his home. The Beginning of New Life At age 8, Conte made the most significant choice of his life, the journey to begin performing football from the grassroots. He began his football career at J.S. Cherezna's in the western suburbs of Paris. During the registration, Conte was promptly tagged by teammates as the shortest and most focused young star in the club. While his small size and appearance held several of his teammates wondering if he could last 90 minutes on the pitch, ideally, it was Conte's obedience and hard practice in his restless childhood that accommodated the miniature midfielder's achievement. Moreover, Conte's entry to the team was proved lucky as his team started winning cups as soon as he entered the club. Uh, we, they start very well. They scored three games early in the game. The no celebration story. Conte has won many big games in his ongoing football journey, but never celebrated like others as he never liked doing it. He would lead his team winning cups, but it wouldn't celebrate because it signified a trifle to him and his nature. As he had never allowed this celebration to go to his head, by looking at some of his game-winning pitches, he always seemed to maintain distance himself from a trophy celebration that came to the team because he was their main man, the match winner. Moreover, even when his teammates grew in height, Conte remained stuck in height but secured the position of the most powerful midfield force who would cover every blade of grass in the field. Talking about the poor guy's height and match photos, his size looked similar to the visiting little kids. N'Golo Conte started rising after spending about four years at the club that helped his personality and the professional path became evident after training hard. At some point, Conte's popularity took him to be the club's favourite and most faithful attendant. 
Moreover, the football star raised his income by joining a team of selected youth stars who took extra hours to train very young kids. Pierre Ville happened to be Conti's assistant manager at that time and all due credits go to him for showing off a way to earn more for his family. According to Conti's assistant manager Pierre Ville, Conti continued outside the radar of big teams because of his small stature appearance. Adding on, he stated back then, Conti would perform tackles all day, take the ball from one end of the pitch and would carry it to the other length of the field. That was his private training routine taught by no one. Another of his good pals, Francois Lemoine, stated that when he was under 18s, Conti was under 15s and already used to play with them, while another friend of Conti said that he was smaller than everyone yet no one could get beyond him. While some teammates learned a lesson in humility from Conti, Conti was the one member of the team who would listen and do absolutely everything asked of him, like truly anything in his hand. All together we fight for this result and at the end, is, uh, this is beautiful to win this kind of title together. Depicting his story, Bojtina, his youth coach, once jokingly asked Conte to juggle the ball 50 times with his left foot, 50 with the right foot, and 50 with his head while they went on a break. Surprisingly, two months later when Bojtina was back from holidays, he was in shock seeing Conte doing what he jokingly asked him to. Concluding the entire incident, Vojtina never asked him to do anything and left him in the environment's guidance. Moreover, his reputation at some point got fans gathering to the playground just to watch Conti perform. This led to a move to Boulogne, where he played between 2010 and 12. Besides, his Boulogne coach Durand stated that Conti's awareness was great and he is a direct player and plays box to box. It is an absolute pleasure to watch Conti play. Whereas after all the hard work and dedication towards the game, Conti's desire to pursue his dream in England finally arrived. Conti was scouted for Premier League club Leicester City by Steve Walsh who had earlier promoted the transfers of Jamie Vardy and Riyad Mahrez to the team. In August 2015, Conti joined Leicester on a four-year contract, charging a hefty fee amount from the owner. Who is N'Golo Conti's role model? N'Golo picked teachings from Lasana Diara and considered him as his role model. While some stated that he considered Makalele as a role model, but the statement later turned out to be false as Conti cleared up things before. Moreover, Makalele, who considers Conte a potential player, suggested Conte concentrate on aiming more to grow as an outstanding player on leadership support, and not only on his strength and excellent ball-winning skills. Conte's lifestyle. Conte is a very simple living kind of a person and never showed off his wealth before society. Moreover, he has never had a showy car or expensive clothes. Whereas at the start of his professional career at Chelsea, he traveled to training by kick scooter, as of the 2018 season, he drove a Mini Cooper. He's an absolute stunning player and an inspiration to many. There's a lot to learn from him and hope every person succeeds in their life. So, that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit like and subscribe to our channel. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section.